This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions, ranging from e learning to instructor led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. In this first section, we're going to look at configuring sites and subnets. We'll start with just an overview of the concept of sites and the fact that they control replication traffic and login traffic. Replication traffic is going to be controlled because between sites, replication can only occur on the predefined schedule and interval defined at the site link, that component that links two physical sites together. And then login traffic is going to be, uh, is going to be controlled because servers, domain controllers, will register DNS SRV records for their specific site so that clients will be forced to log on to a domain controller in their location say forced like it's a bad thing that's actually what we want you know we don't want them logging on across locations across WAN links so we have to uh, start with an overview and then we need to just get a clear understanding as to what sites and subnets are because in reality though we're dealing with the physical structure these are logical objects that represent the physical you know, the site is a logical object in Active Directory that represents a physical location. The subnet, a logical object that represents the physical network segment uh, or subnet. And, and so we need to have a clear understanding as to how these are used and, and what they're used for. Let's start with an overview of controlling replication and logon traffic. 